and welcome back to Scrappy Daddy Survival Me Squidoodle! Welcome back to my lovely little island. It's a beautiful day once again. There's, there's no rain in Scrap Mechanic. It's, it's absolutely wonderful. We're working on my tan. Got my nice little Larry hat on here. Um, <laughs> but yeah, today what we're going to be doing is building another practical vehicle. So in the last episode, we decided to dive... Oh my goodness. The bots have destroyed my wheels. Wait, have they? Oh no. <laughs> Why were they glitched underground? What the heck? Okay. Yeah, in the last episode, um, we built this lovely looking creation. Look at the state of it. It's an absolute mess. Um, why is it not going? This is not a good start. Okay, we've run out of fuel. Okay, well, one second. But yeah, we built this simple little vehicle where we can chop trees and bring them back to our little sawmill. Now, I got a lot of comments uh, in the last episode. Some of them weren't nice. Some of them hurt my feelings. You know, they were like, Squid's an idiot. Why does it you know about saw blades? Squid's been playing this game for so long. Why is he such a moron? Listen, all right? I've not been, like, playing for that long, and uh, I wasn't that familiar with how saw blades work. So shut up. Thanks, I just need to get that off my chest. <laughs> but anyway, we've, uh, we've been a bit more smarter. And we've sort of fixed the sawmill. I say sort of, I'll uh, I'll show you why. So basically, yeah, we get this vehicle. It needs so much work doing to it. Um, oh my goodness, I'm blind. But I think we did that well. Yeah, we did that well. <laughs> yeah, it needs so much work doing to it. We need to make it uh, a lot better. Uh, and so does the sawmill, but at least we've got the saw sawmill uh, to the point where it works for the smaller trees. Uh, the problems that we're kind of facing is when we have the bigger trees. So I'll show you what I've basically done uh, in terms of the sawmill. This one might be a bit big, so let's just chop an end off. <laughs> this is the problem I have at the minute. So when we get the, the big, like, the big trees, like the redwoods or whatever, um, yeah, my, this kind of struggles, this sawmill. So I've come up with an idea how to fix it, but we're not going to do that in this episode. I want to kind of move on, which is kind of stupid of me because I should finish a project, but I kind of want to do something different in this episode. But, um, yeah, we just kind of pop that there, grab the end, pop the end on... And then destroy the end. And then just click the button. And there we go. It like, meow, 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 chops it all up. And, uh, yeah, I need to put another piston here so it pushes it all the way to the end. But it works. Everything goes uh, in each of the refining uh, collectors. Uh, and then goes into this lovely little gadget, which refines our wood. So that's pretty much done. I would like to move this. Uh, put some pipe around the back, put it into my base, uh, and completely, like, fix it. Because uh, I feel like that would be a good idea. But today, what I thought I'd do is, um, try and work on a mining vehicle. Now, I have done a little bit of, uh, mining before, if you guys remember. Uh, some of the earlier episodes, we dived into it. Uh, I kind of built, like, a standalone mine. It wasn't that good. But today, we're going to build the vehicle from the ground up. And I've got, uh, a cool little plan. Now, the basic, the ba the base, the, the premise, the premises of the build is basically we have um, a lot of pistons it's going to be a pretty expensive build but yeah what we're going to do i will i'll just kind of uh, i'll show you guys because i want to build it in the morning but i can't because it's night time right now but i'm going to build a square okay and then we're gonna basically chop out the front of it we're gonna have wheels on each side and then we're gonna have pistons here so Pretend this is a rock. <laughs> oh, you're liking this diagram. So what the vehicle's gonna do is it's gonna raise itself up, and then there's gonna be um, there's gonna be the miners, the drills underneath, and then they're gonna be on a piston which will push down. So the vehicle's gonna be on eight pistons, and it should be able to low and raise above all the rocks. So that is the that's the idea. Uh, I haven't built a tester. I just had the idea, and I thought. Let's click record and see what happens. So that's what we're doing today. <laughs> but yeah, I really do like the sawmill. I'm going to jazz it up, actually, uh, outside of the episode. And we're going to jazz the uh, the truck up. And uh, that should be kind of ticked off for the for the whole sawing process. It is a pr it's pretty easy, uh, actually. I don't know why I didn't build one before, but it, it is so easy to collect wood and just bring it back in. You can get about 10 in the truck, which is nice. I know some people have b built trucks that you can, like, do it on the go, but I kind of like bringing it back and having, like, logs stacked up. I feel like it's a nice, like, aesthetic. Um, so I like that. But anyway, uh, I'll see you guys in the morning when we can see. Also, I'm hoping that the game adds in a way to destroy the turret bots or at least refine them into scrap metal. I think that would be a really good sort of uh, thing to do because, look, there's a tower over there. You just, after you play, 
<laughs> this game for a while. It's just absolutely littered. At least with the uh, hair bots, you can refine them. Like, you know what I mean? We need something for the for the whip bots, the tote bots. Also, if anybody wants to know how my little AFK farm is going, it's wonderful. It's never been better. It works effortlessly and flawlessly, and I haven't had a single problem. I've left all these potatoes here. Just because I don't really need to do any do any sort of farming at the minute, but I'm just kind of leaving them here just to just show you guys that yeah, these are the sable crops that I've had from yeah the other episode. So it's going great. It's going it's going wonderful. Do you want to add to it though? I do want to find a way, and I don't know how. So if you have any comments and suggestions, leave them uh, down below of how to pick up all these all these circuit boards automatically. That's, I don't know if you can or not, uh, I was kind of thinking of a way maybe we had, um, I don't know, maybe like a little bot that went around the outside and just sucked it all up and then came back. But I don't know how I'd do that. I'd probably need a lot of pistons. So, yeah, if you have any suggestions, leave them down below. I'm sure to read them. All right, well, good morning. Let's get building. So, you'll be pretty pleased to know that we're going to be building our something of the scrap blocks today. Uh, we're going to be building our wood, which is going to be, uh, yeah, pretty nice, actually. So, what we're going to do is we're going to build this thing quite big. So, I'm thinking something like that size. Is that big enough for a rock? Maybe. We might have to do some tweaks. I kind of need to find some rocks. But we'll do the, we'll do the first sort of bit for now, uh, and then we'll go and find some rocks. So, yeah, the idea is... That we need to basically put a giant hole in this thing. We could probably leave it so it's too wide around the outside. I think that'd be that'd be pretty decent. Okay, I've made it bigger. Uh, it's a giant C. <laughs> C for uh, I don't know, chipping away the rocks. The nice little chipper. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's uh, let's go put the pistons down. So the idea is that this thing is gonna lift off the ground. So. Let me just, let me show you guys what I'm thinking here. So we're gonna have this there, this there, this there, and then finally this here. And then this is where the wheels are gonna be. And then we need to build the frame for the actual, uh, the, the mining mechanism. So we're gonna basically, this is gonna be quite simple actually. I thought this was gonna be a lot more complicated, but it's not. It's not really a complicated thing here. So one there. We might even get away with just two pistons, but I did want this thing to be kind of, um, yeah, secure and not flimsy. So, I don't know, I might push the boat out and, uh, let's, let's, let's just do four. Let's do how we originally planned. And then we might even go a little bit higher than that, but we should be fine. So, okay, let's just do this for now. And then this is where all of the pistons should go. The rest of them will hang down here, like so. And then this is what's going to um, actually do the mining. So, there we go. And then all we need to do now is get some wood because we've run out. <laughs> this looks like such a weird vehicle. I don't know if this is going to work. You never know. Sometimes when we do videos, uh, they work first time. And sometimes they take forever. And uh, there's a lot of, like, back and forth sort of tweaking and... Um, yeah, trying to get stuff right, so you never know. I don't even know what this is gonna be like I really should do a, a little bit more research before we we do any sort of builds But what what the, that's not fun is it? You know, what would the fun in that be? Is that even connected to that? I didn't I didn't see any it's not connected Now it is all right nice Okay, so that's where all the drills are gonna be so I need to make more drills uh, Yeah yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, we need to, we need to definitely make more drills. Okay, let, let me, let me go and do some, do some stuff. Do some stuff, make some drills. I need to make a few more wheels. And, uh, I think we should be good to go. So, yeah, let's get cracking. All right, I need to get some more uh, stuff for some wheels. So, let's head out on, uh, the Wibbler Wobbler. Let's just call her Wendy, you know. So I think someone mentioned Wendy. Wendy the Wibbler. Let's just go out on Wendy. Wendy and Bert. <laughs> I still need to make a little gravestone for Big Bertha and Bert the original. It's been a while. Was that? Wait, was that? Was that? Was that? Was that? Honey? Oh, yeah. Gonna give myself some nice beeswax. Nice. Oh, there's some up there. Come on. Let me up. Is that it? I think we good. I think we good. Okay. I know there's a couple of spots by the water, so I'm gonna go check that out. Uh, because we do need a butt ton more of this stuff. Hey! Get off. Get off the cow, bruh. 
Oh, nice. Thank you. <laughs> they never drop it, like, on the raids at night, but they always seem to drop it, like, in the day. I don't understand. It's so weird. Okay, there should be a load around here. There we go. There's, like, three on one rock. This is such a perfect rock. It kind of shows how much I've been, like, messing about in this game. Like, I'm, like, 20 odd episodes in. I'm only just making a proper miner. I've been doing stuff to Larry's land. I've been recreating my base about three times. I've just... I need to... I need to get, get on the grind. We've got a lot of stuff to build, so these two vehicles uh, are really going to help me out. And then, hopefully, we can start building the little top bit of our base. I think that would be kind of awesome. A lot of people suggest that I should build it out of glass. It's just like a big glass walkway, so... I kind of like that idea. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so let's pop the rest of this in here. Please say this is enough for some more wheels. Uh, what do we need? Six. Oh, we need two more. So the main thing that worries me about this build is now, after the patch, you have to level up your pistons uh, regardless of the controller. So normally, if you had a level five controller before, you could have level one pistons and you could extend them as long as you want. But now you can't. They have to match the same level as the pistons, which sucks. I don't like it. <laughs> anyway, I have some wheels, so let me... Uh, yeah, let's just pop some on. We're going to make this four-wheel steering. So... I, I, do I make it out of pipe, or do we just... Mm, I kind of like making stuff out of pipe. I might... I might do... Do I do the pipe? Do we do, we, do, we, do, we do the pipe squid? Let's do the pipe. Oh, I made too many drills. This is taking forever. Why did I make this many drills? Do I not have any more drills? I've only got one. One drill. Also, I know that I have to sort this out, okay? I, I, I understand that it is an absolute shambles of a chess system. It's disgusting. I am not proud of myself. I will promise, I promise you guys that I will get this sorted. I just need to, you know, get, just, uh, just give me some time, okay? This, this takes a lot of doing. I feel like I need to hire somebody to come in to just clean all this up for me. <laughs> it's got past the point of no return right now. I might... Oh, I think I've made this area way too big, like... How many drill bits am I gonna need for this thing? Oh, it's not even central! No! That's gonna annoy me. That... That right there is a no-no. Well, this is gonna take about another 20 years, so I guess I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. Everything, I need to make myself another craft boat and another refining forge. I've got all this metal out here. I've got all this metal out here. I need to tidy up. This is, <laughs> I'm disgusted with myself. You know what, while we wait, we're gonna go kill some bots. All right, I'm gonna go do something productive. Oh no, wait, if I leave the area, then it doesn't carry on. Oh, scrap mechanic, why? Do you know what? I think Larry sells drills. I'm gonna go see, like, what his price is. We haven't seen Larry in a bit. Anyway, let's go see, uh, how much he scams us for. Like, it's just a few bits of metal, uh, for the craft bar, so let's... <laughs> I mean, he's gonna, he's gonna, like, five... Well, like, 50 broccoli. He's gonna, like, a hundred beets or something. He's gonna scam us, guys. I can smell it. Look at him. He's having a nice little fire inside. Look at that chimney go. Or maybe he's burning all the farmers that we picked up for him. <laughs> Larry... You're evil, mate. What are you selling these for? F I knew it! He wants 50 beets. 50 beets. Beets by Larry. Mind you, we do 100 crops in our farm, so we could get two drills per one night of harvest. Let's do that. Actually, no, let's not, because uh, that means I've got to go and get them and then put them on a vehicle and bring them back to Larry. And I am not doing it. All right, we're going to carry on this way. I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to be lazy and wait. I miss Bertha. I could just put them on Bertha. We could just... I need to make a new Bertha. But I feel like Bertha 3, it's a little bit too soon. You know what I mean, guys? Smash like if you want Bertha 3. All right, well, it's the end of the morning. It's time to connect this bad boy up. Now, this is, it looks so stupid. I honestly think I've made it too tall. Like, I feel like it's going to be too tall and too top heavy to be rolling around. So... I guess we might have to add more weight to this thing to, to make it a little bit uh, more anchored to the ground. But yeah, we could tweak it. It's fine. I'm, I'm not really too bothered. I, I do feel like it, it's still going to work. I hope. <laughs> so let me quickly... Uh, wait, what level control is this? This is a too high level. So level five. Okay, so we'll use this one uh, for this here. 
So this is basically going to push the miner down. And then we need another controller to basically um, connect these things up to, to tell these when to drop and when to collect. And then we need another controller to do... Okay, there's going to be a few, a few switches here. <laughs> Hopefully I've got enough controls. Okay, we've got a level one there, which is perfect. Another controller. Okay, we've got a few controllers. This is good. I think I just need some switches now. Uh, as we all know, uh, switches are important. Uh, also, buttons are more important. <laughs> I should probably do it on buttons, but I think for this one we find there's no thrusters. Uh, nothing can really go that wrong. So we'll make three switches, uh, and then we'll connect all of this stuff together. But... Yeah, I, it's going to be kind of a lucky dip if this works or not. I just kind of had an idea, and we've gone with it. So let's find out if it was a good idea or a terrible idea. Man, that's a lot of drills. I don't know if I've got a bit over top with the drills here. <laughs> I probably have. Also, I'm going to move the seat because this is a really stupid place. I feel like... Okay, we'll remove the seat. We'll put it, like, right on the edge because this is... <laughs> this is a sensible driving. So... I will put it here, because this is pretty much where we're going to be driving. This way is where we're going to be heading, so this makes a lot of sense. So let's go do this again. We'll put the controller here. Uh, we'll put it behind, actually. And then we'll start connecting it all together, and we'll see if we've we've made a monstrosity or a masterpiece. Probably a monstrosity. Oh, I'm an idiot. I haven't put the, the drills on bearings. <laughs> They're just kind of just awkwardly there. <laughs> it's like, why can't I connect them? Oh my goodness. This is why, this is why you get people calling you stupid, Squid, because you do stupid stuff. As Forrest Gump said, stupid is what stupid does. Okay, so I might have to put these on a separate engine just because we don't need them running all the time. Um, but I'm not too worried about that at the minute. I'm going to get all this connected via the controller. Uh, so let's see how far seven is away. So let's... Is this even on a lift anymore? No, it's not. Okay, wait. I need to do the controller down, which we're going to use this level three. Uh, we're going to put this here. And then the final one, we'll do a level five for the uh, the last one. So these uh, will be for the sides. There we go. This will hopefully make it a little bit more stable. So they are for the resource collectors. They're probably in really a really dumb place, but all I kind of need them to do is turn like 45 degrees when I need them to. Oh, sorry, 90 degrees, just so they're closer to the ground. This engine is for all of the drills. Let's connect all this up here. This looks like Spaghetti Junction right now. Is this going to be enough? Where was that noise? Hey, what are you doing? Where did he come from? What the heck? It's 11 a.m. You're supposed to be in bed. Or whatever you bots do in the daytime, just chill around. Looking for trouble. Is this... Okay, this needs to be connected to a switch. So switch number two. Uh, actually, we'll do switch number three, I guess. For... Oh, max connections. No! What? Oh, how much is an upgrade? So, uh, there's too much stuff going on here. This is one, this is two, this is three, the third one's for the engine, so we'll put some juice in there, medium power for now, and <laughs> so the second one's going to be this one for this piston, oh my goodness, this is a little bit insane right now, what have I done? I, I should have spaced out the controllers, because this is... It's a little bit crazy. Okay, then the wheels need to go to this engine. So I'll do that while I'm down here. <laughs> Look at all the wires! Oh my goodness. Oh, this is insane! Okay, so make, make sure all these are going the right way. Twisty, twisty. Twisty, twisty. Twisty, twisty. Twisty, twisty. Right, so now it should turn... Uh, right and left. Okay, that's great. We don't have the power on, so now we do. Okay, might need suspension. But it turns. Okay, number two. I haven't set the... Um... Oh, here we have. Here we go. So let's go down on the rocks. Let's turn it on. And then if the rocks... That's way too slow, actually. We need to turn this one up. So is this this one? Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> and then, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? So this needs to be at 90 degrees to go down. So I will quickly just test this. It needs to be slow because... Wait, why is it not connected to anything? Okay, number two, this controller. Okay, you need to turn the other way. So that is bringing them down so we can run, uh, we can run it over. Okay, that's fine by me, so they can come back up. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And then number three, which we haven't even set yet, is if we have some like really high rocks, we'll just put them on seven. And then this should, again, we need to have it on slow, but this should just boost the vehicle up off the ground. That's the wrong one. I honestly don't know if this is going to work. Like, I guess on paper, it doesn't look too bad. It just depends if this thing freaks out when it, when it hits the rocks or if it, it just takes it like a champ. We might need to add more weight. This one needs to be... This switch connected to this. So this should rise it. We've, we've maxed out the connections again. Okay. I mean, I'm not surprised. Like, look how many wires there are. I should raise the ride up a bit more. Hey, what's going on there? Woo, 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 woo. Well, it's all on seven. I think these might be having a hard time because of these, but... So let me... Okay, just for the time being, I'm going to take these off because these are not helping. Okay, so this rises everything up if we have a really big rock. And we can still... <laughs> oh no! Okay, stop. Stop. I'm pressing too many buttons. Okay, this... This thing needs to be weighed down. Oh my goodness. Anyway, let's go find a rock and see if it can actually do anything. Where... Where do you... Where do we normally find rocks around here? This thing looks so stupid. It's like a skeleton right now. Bye, Hebo. I would like a rock, please. Is this a rock? Is that a bush? Bush or rock? Show yourself. Oh, it's a rock. Okay, okay. How are we looking for height? Okay, so now... This is where... Number four needs to come in. So if we go gentle... Oh, we need to make it wider. Okay, but let me just... Let me just see if we actually... Actually works. Okay, we need to upgrade these pistons. This is a steep learning curve right now. Oh, it drills though! She drills! Oh, I, you know what? I think this is gonna work. Honestly, if I make it, I'm gonna make it a little bit wider and we add some more weight to it. Look, look it. Uh, actually, we're coming at it from a wrong angle. Let's just, let's just try again. So we need to upgrade the pistons. We need to make the wheelbase a little bit uh, longer so it has a little bit more stability. Come on. That's it. Mount the rock. And then we go down. Oh, no, wrong way. Down. And then we... Oh, look at this! If it went down more... This would be annihilating the rocks. Oh, there we go. Yo, I'm so happy about this. This is this is actually legit. And then we need to go down. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a beast. It's an actual beast. It works. Okay, I am happy with that. And then we need to go up. And then up again to get off of this thing. Maybe it's pushing us away. Oh, man, I think a little bit of tweaking and, uh, yeah, we are onto something here. Let me go back to the workshop and, uh, yeah, we need to mess around with this thing. I feel like the the main sort of uh, issues is it's, it's really too flimsy, to be honest. It needs to be a little bit wider and, uh, yeah, we need to kind of work on the, the wheels and stuff, but... Concept is looking good. We just need to do uh, some tweaking. All right, so I've made the wheelbase a little bit more longer. Look at it. Looks amazing. So beautiful. Just a picture of pure creativity and look at it. It's amazing. Let's hope it works. <laughs> so I really need to, um, yeah, probably add more drills. I've upgraded the pistons, so we do go down. We can, I guess, ride around like this. It's better center of gravity. Uh, we're nearly touching the floor. I just need to upgrade my pistons once more, and then we should be good to go. But 
Yeah, look at this now. So we should be able to go up. Oh, I didn't make myself wider. I know that's what I forgot to do. We should be able to wiggle ourselves in. I'll raise myself up a little bit. Here we go. I'm just going to make it wider. <laughs> I feel like I have to. The wheels need to be wider. This is what this machine demands. Wider wheels. So all it needs is wider wheels at the front. And then that's pretty much it. So if I just pop this bad boy on a lift. And uh, disconnect this whole thing here. And here. And say here. And here. And here. And here. And then all I need to do is add this like that. Grab it. Splunk it down. And then do the same again here. Plunk it. Grab it. And then uh, that should be good. Nice. Easy peasy. Weld that together. And get rid of this. And then we'll do the same again here. So how did I do? I think I just brought it. Brought it across. Pop it to there. Weld it together. Does that work? And then I just need to connect everything back up. And then we should be good to go. So many tweaks, guys. So many tweaks. I can't remember which button this was on. <laughs> Was it? Oh, no, okay, it was on this end one. This thing has evolved, like, so much, even in this episode. It's ridiculous. <laughs> so now what I need to do is, yeah, bring this down to seven. And then we'll try this again. Look at it. Oh, what a machine. Hey, it looks pretty scary. not going to lie. What are you saying now? Not a lot. That's what you're saying because I've grappled you. Down we go. Time to get ourselves some metal. Oh, this is amazing. It works so well. Like, I guess we just need to be a little bit heavier, but that's that's not a problem. Once we get the resource collectors on. Okay, like that. And we'll go over this spit. Down we go. And then bring this one down. Come on, you stubborn rock. Oh, one of the drills isn't working. Why is that drill not working? Oh my god, it's the one that I needed to work, and it's not even connected. Here we go. There we go. Absolutely beautiful. What a machine. I have built an absolute banger here, guys. Get this last bit. Bring it down. Oh, I'm like a couple of piston upgrades short of getting these really low bits, and then we can crush it all up. But I reckon if I just make this thing... Possibly even wider, add a few more drills and then a button of resource collectors. It's like a spider. Look at it. I dig this. Let me try and get the last um, two, four, six upgrades and then we'll see if we can get the bottom layer uh, and then crush all the little bottom bits of stone because I guess they're obviously the most important bit. So give me a second and then hopefully we can end this video on uh, a win. All right, I finally got all the component kits. Let's let's do this. So let's put on the drills. And let's lower this bad boy up and see what it does. And there we go. All refined into lovely stone. You can see it all popping out. Oh, this is great. This is great. I've made a miner. That works. And all we need now is a little, uh, yeah, resource collector on the back. I probably could do with bigger wheels. I feel like that was a bit of a stupid idea. I need to make it wider. I need to make it longer. I need to make some serious adjust adjustments. But I feel like we've done all right. I feel like I can jazz this up quite a bit and make it perfect. We can definitely fine tune it. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of it. Let's get all these bits. There we go. Oh, a little bit more. A little bit more crushing. There we go. And it kind of gets all the stone as well, which is nice. Like, it doesn't leave any part of it. There we go. All that stone's done. So, it, it definitely works. It definitely works. I could add more drills to it. I could make it longer, just one big long sort of 
uh, mining machine. I feel like uh, we could easily do that. And this is a sort of easy terrain, so I'd like to see how it kind of um, how it kind of uh, does with a little bit of a harder terrain. But yeah, it's nice. I like it. I can't complain. I feel like it it, it does it really well. We missed some bits over here, so let's get these bits. There we go. Ah, oh, look at it. I reckon once I kind of make the final adjustments, I reckon I could just run over a rock and get it all refined and then just get my collector and uh, it'd be absolutely perfect. But look, we've, we've got the full rock. It took a little bit of tweaking, but man, oh man, it's gone. The whole thing is gone and pretty much refined. That's amazing. I think I'm gonna call this the crab. It looks like a crab. I reckon if we put two headlights on either side of the, the top pistons, um, it looked like a crab. <laughs> but there we go. Most of it's refined. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with that, guys. What do you think? It's the second, um, yeah, the second sort of vehicle that I've made that's actually that actually works and it's and it's actually usable. It's it's fit for purpose. You know, it's not a stupid submarine or a larry launcher. This is this is a legit machine we could take out, get resources, and come back. But yeah, serious tweaks gonna be made to this thing. We're gonna make it a little bit more bulkier, add bigger wheels. I might make it six wheels, uh, just to give it that bit more of a stability. I'm gonna widen the back as well a little bit so it matches the front, and we're gonna probably gonna add more drills uh, here because I think uh, we could probably get the full rock in one big like spadoosh. Yeah, spadoosh. But anyway, guys, uh, yeah, that has been my epic drill miner, which works really well. I'm so happy with it. So I hope you have enjoyed today's scrap mechanic. If you have, please smash like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Oh, also, I'm going to be doing bits and bats on my Twitch, so I'll leave the link down below if you want to go follow it. I'm going to start streaming again on there, doing bits and bats uh, in between episodes. So yeah, go follow me. See you there. Bye!